Welcome to another Dragon Air Silent Gods video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Season 4 is almost here, guys. The 21st of June, we have a couple of days left. And of course, we're going to have a bunch of new heroes coming to the game. Now, I do want to pinpoint a couple of amazing uh, Ice Blast heroes. We will have some amazing epics, some amazing rares this time around. I do have to say that out of all of the seasons that we had so far, this is by far bringing the best epics and rares to the game okay comparing it with all of the previous uh, hero drops we had this video is brought to you by dragon air silent god so i just want to say a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video and if you guys are new around here new on the channel if you haven't tried dragon air silent gods just yet or you want to help and support me help and support the channel you can download the game by using the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment or by scanning the qr code you see on the screen quickly to talk about these new heroes guys so let me just quickly walk you through exactly what they do I will start with a rare one with Roberta. She is absolutely amazing. I do think that she is much better than uh, Nord, in my opinion. Now, we're going to do some testing today. We're going to put them head to head. And we're going to see which one of them uh, are actually better. So, she does have fairly decent stats. Not uh, an insane amount of HP. With the passive, again, it's just the standard Ice Blast uh, passive. Whenever they possess Ice Crystal, they will release the battle skill uh, again. The actual battle skill... Shoots two projectiles at the enemy, each dealing 150% attack. Uh, this skill ignores 40% of the enemy's defense. If the skill consumes the ice crystal, the projectile will be enhanced, each dealing 180 attack cold damage. Doesn't sound insane, but pretty good. Uh, then you have the ultimate, uh, a pretty good AoE range, which will make these characters more interesting if we need to use them against some uh, uh, bosses where AoE attack will be important. Strikes the enemy within uh, range three times, each dealing attack all damage with a chance to grant one stack of ice crystal. Not only that she can deal damage with this, but she is actually a very good uh, applier for uh, uh, defense down. So if you want to give her Witch's Remains or Crown of the Unclean because of the multi-hits, it will actually be really, really nice. So on paper, she sounds pretty nice. This is Nord right here. I'm sure that the majority of you guys are familiar with this. This skill does seem to do more damage. Just looking at it, uh, of course, it doesn't ignore defense, which will uh, overall play a very, uh, very big uh, deal. Then we have the ultimate skill. Good damage. Again, it's a small AoE and it's a single hit. The passive is pretty much the same, but it will basically give Ice Blast to the ally with the highest attack as well, which is nice. Then we have this amazing epic. I don't know why people are making, uh, making her sound like she's broken and she needs a nerf, that she breaks the game and she hits harder than anyone else, because she doesn't. She's very good, but she doesn't break the game more than Gertin was doing in Season 2. She's very solid, but that's it. She doesn't need to be nerfed. Nothing is broken about her. And no, she is not bugged either, because it just works as normal. There's nothing crazy about the damage that you're seeing comparing it with Gertin or something like that, you know? So I just want to make it uh, crystal clear, guys. Uh, is nothing wrong with this uh, with this hero, you know? If it is, and uh, they intended to make it weak, uh, and they've made it strong from mistake, that's something else. But this, uh, this is a pretty solid epic. So you have a crit damage aura uh, for all allies, increased by 48. Uh, it's a bit strange seeing it like this, though, because uh, usually they look completely different, right? Then we have the passive. If the hero possesses ice crystals, again, will be the same story. Now, when the hero will possess three stacks or more, this skill uh, will be released with uh, additional effects. Now, we're not really sure exactly what that means. Then you have the battle skill. Deals 250% attack cold damage to an enemy. Every stack of ice crystal of the hero increases the damage dealt by 10%. That's where it comes in place. So, uh... The main reason why she will actually be a bit more powerful than Gertin is because of these guys. And uh, if you have the right team for her, so if you're using Bladin, you're not going to get enough stacks on her to constantly go crazy. Now, if you're using Sheena, the legendary enabler for Ice Blast, it's going to make a massive difference because she will be able to deal additional damage for each one of the extra uh, Ice Crystals that she has, you know. Uh, additionally, deals target max HP cold damage no more than 200% of her attack. So right here, you have a gambler set built in her own kit. The gambler set is the set that we had in 
season one, uh, season two, if I'm not mistaken. And I think it is back now in season four, but I'm, I'm, I might be mistaken with that. So either way, that's a set that will deal damage based on enemy max HP and is usually very good on characters that have multi hits. So you can constantly increase your chance to proc it. That's what makes this character so good. Now I understand people are salty that the legendary one is trash. The Ice Blast legendary sucks. So they should definitely buff that character. But that has nothing to do with this epic champion being good. And we don't want it nerfed. Okay. Then we have the ultimate right here. Throws an Ice Lance at an enemy to deal attack cold damage to them. Up to... Uh, uh, to deal uh, cold damage uh, to them. To de uh, deal cold damage to them. Upon hitting each enemy, the hero has a chance to obtain one stack of Ice Crystal. Additional effect, the hero gains attack up, which is going to be very, very nice. So, uh, there, there you go. She gains increased attack. She deals additional damage. So, it's as simple as that. Now, Gertin, again, you guys are very familiar with her. She does gain increased crit damage. She gains increased crit rate. So, it's much easier to build her. Uh, the damage that she deals is 290% attack cold damage while she deals 250. But the extra additional damage uh, for each stack plus the enemy max HP damage is actually going to be massive, especially if you manage to have five ice crystals every time. It's actually going to be quite, uh, quite, a bit of, uh, quite a bit of damage, you know. And Gertin has a very nice uh, uh, ultimate, a lot of damage, single target, and she can gain, of course, ice crystal. But I just kind of like wanted to walk you through what the characters can do, just so you understand better why uh, we are doing the comparison that we are doing at the moment. Well, we're going to go to difficulty three. We haven't unlocked difficulty four just yet. We will have that unlocked for uh, tomorrow. So we have the very first team right here. Uh, you've seen it uh, being used uh, in a different video to test the new uh, legendary, which is absolutely amazing, right? Uh, this is the gear that we have on them. First, we're going to go in with North. We're going to go in with Bladin. We're going to go in with Sheena. We're going to see what exactly they can do. And then we have the Nadja and Roberta team right here, which they have pretty much the exact same gear. I just need to transfer it. Of course, on Nadja, I just had to change the weapon. And instead of uh, getting uh, so much attack like I have on Gertin, I actually had to go for uh, extra crit rate just to up her crit rate. Because uh, Gertin doesn't require as much uh, crit rate. So I have a different weapon where she has more attack. But in terms of stats, yes, Gertin has better stats. Much better stats right here. So uh, let's see how effective this team will be. Uh, we don't have an aura for it, which is fine. Uh, it should bring in quite a bit of damage. So the whole idea is that Sheena is just such an amazing activator for Ice Blast characters, guys. It's... Honestly, such a massive difference to half in the team and to don't. Yes, using Blad in the epic character will still allow you to get to 24 million damage on the Vortex. Will still allow you to get to 22 plus million damage on all of the chief challenges without a problem. But when you have Sheena, it actually uh, changes the game. You know, she just brings in uh, such an amazing ultimate skill and gives so many ice crystals to uh, all of the characters that it's very hard to compete with, uh, with her, you know. And... That will bring in a lot of uh, a lot of extra damage. Now, what I'm gonna do, guys, uh, I'm gonna try to probably go all the way to like seven minutes in. Uh, we're gonna see exactly what sort of uh, damage we're getting from uh, uh, each one of the characters in there. The good part about Dragoner, what I really really like, when you're testing stuff and you're trying to kind of like make a benchmark for something, you have no RNG in the hit. So, if I have a uh, hundred crit rate, I have uh, 100 crit damage, 5k attack, my damage will be consistent throughout the run. Of course, having increased attack, defense down will modify the, uh, the result. But if you have uh, that thing spot on, you know that the character will not fluctuate in terms of damage. Unlike in Raid, for example, if you're, you're playing that, you have a 20% margin of hitting higher, lower. It's just all over the place. You never know how to, cons uh, how to uh, basically do a good benchmark to check the damage uh, on characters in game without doing uh, spreadsheets and stuff like that to kind of like approximate it but either way we're gonna see what Gertin can do we're gonna see what North can do and then we're gonna see what the new epic and the new rare hero coming to Dragon Air Silent Gods can do in an Ice Blast team super pumped to see the difference so I'm actually gonna stop it at five minutes in guys just to be able to uh Ensure that nobody will die early or uh, anything like that. So there we go. Five minutes in. We're going to see exactly 
what sort of damage we had from uh, we have from this team. Sorry, um, fifty one point one million damage is a pretty impressive result. I know it's difficulty three, but this will be very close on difficulty four in terms of damage as long as we maintain our survivability. So right here we have Gertin with forty nine point five percent out of the damage, uh, twenty five point three million. Then you have Nord with uh, 15 million damage, and he dealt 30.7% uh, out of uh, the entire damage. I'm not even going to discuss about Shina, guys, because she's going to be in both of the teams. She's mainly the activator. But this is a very solid uh, result. I'm a massive fan of Gertin. I've, I've been using her since I got her in every single season. And to be honest, I've been using all of the Ice Blast heroes in every single season. I find them extremely effective versus the chief challenge bosses. It's much easier to build uh, two teams with Ice Blast than building two teams with Frost because they're just not as powerful uh, versus single target. So uh, I'm even more pumped now to be able to build three Ice Blast teams, you know? So hell yeah, I'm, I'm all in for more, uh, more Ice Blast characters. Um, we're going to redeploy right here and quickly change the team to the Nadja and Roberta. Hopefully I'm pronouncing her name right. So we brought in the gear. We have the exact same thing I showed you before. There is no favoritism going on in here. Now this time around, we have the Kree damage aura from her. 48 Kree damage. That is actually a pretty massive, uh, a pretty massive aura, right? It feels like it's better than some of the legendaries. Don't some of the legendaries have like 30, uh, 30 Kree damage? And she has 48. That is massive. That alone will bring more damage. Uh, so instead of uh, having it like Gertin on the passive to gain the increased crit damage buff, she just has the aura, which is awesome. But yeah, let's see what they do. Uh, they can do. And I want to pay a bit of attention to the actual damage that they are dropping in. So once they're going to get close to use their ultimate skills and stuff, I'm going to put it on 1x speed just to see a bit of damage. If we can uh, actually catch it in action. I'm not even sure what was that, 700k or was a 29k or a 19k or a 79k? Uh, it looked like a big number though, it looked like a big number, so that was actually pretty uh, pretty awesome. I do want to see the battle skill why, uh, once we have uh, defense down and see what sort of numbers we're getting from, uh, from her there. And that should be right about now. So defense down. Stop using your animations, man. Ice Blast, okay. 290k, 190k, 19k. She did some very serious damage with both the ultimate and the battle skill. That's actually awesome. Uh, while it's a bit harder to kind of like see the numbers from the uh, rare as well, from Roberta, uh, I was able to kind of like see them from uh, the, epic, uh, the epic hero. And she is bringing in some nice, nice damage though. Very nice damage. Now, Gertin, she hits extremely hard as well. So it's definitely not uh, something to sleep on. Okay, so 74, 23, 23. Some, some, some very, good, uh, very good numbers from uh, both of them, actually. Uh, if we are paying attention to their uh, total damage, it doesn't look bad at, uh, at all, you know? But I'm going to fast forward from here, guys. Again, I'm going to stop it uh, at minute 5. And we're going to see how, uh, how they compare this... Uh, these two teams so here we are guys five minutes into the run we got 54.4 million damage and let's be honest this is just as normal as gertin It's nothing out of the ordinary nothing is broken and needs a nerf here so we have nadja with 27.3 million damage 50.2 percent of the damage overall then you have roberta with let's just say 16 million damage 29.3 so overall, they are very, very good performers, both of them. Hands down, very, very good performers. Now, if we're going to have a look at the previous screenshot with 51.1 million damage, uh, we have uh, Gertin with 25.3 million damage. Then you have Nord with 15.7. So that difference all of a sudden is not that big anymore. So you have Roberta that basically... Uh, dealt uh, 200k more damage than Nord. And then you have Nadja, who dealt 2 million more damage than Gertin. Pretty straightforward, fair play. So overall, I think they are amazing additions coming to the game in, uh, in the next season, guys. Ice Blast getting much, much better. 
once again, I do think they are uh, some of my most favorite characters in the game. I just really love the uh, the idea of the battle skill dealing so much damage and the way they synergize. I think is uh, is a pretty pretty cool thing. And yeah, definitely a big uh, a big fan of the Ice Blast. Now it's true this season they will suffer a bit more with the Necrosis, uh, being paired with the Necrosis. But considering that they are bringing in more uh, more support for them as well, uh, I feel like they are in a in a pretty good spot. Like. Uh, right here we have quite a few of them. Now he is a disappointment, okay? He he really sucks. Uh, the damage that he brings in is just not good at uh, at all, and he needs he needs a major buff. Not even a buff. He needs a major buff to be able to be better than Epics, you know, at least. Uh, which I think it should be the case. If if you're getting a legendary and you're summoning him, you should at least get one that can do something for uh, for your account. That was all for the video. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As usual, I appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Thanks again to Dragonair for sponsoring the video. If you guys want to download the game, you can do so by clicking the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment or by scanning the QR code you see on the screen. Appreciate all of you and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.